so Chris and I still had the day off today. So we went and got him some new glasses, not the ones he's wearing. We have to obviously wait for them. So that was fun. So we have to pick out his new glasses. Are you excited, babe? I am excited for glasses. Why are you acting like that? <laughs> this is not very exciting. <laughs> are, do you guys not get excited for that? I mean, you have to wear them on your face every single day. I think you would be excited about a change in that, no? They look very similar to what I have on. What's funny is that he acted pretty <laughs> excited about it all week, talking and telling anyone that would listen that he was getting new glasses on Monday, and now all of a sudden he's not excited. But anyways, we're also going to go to lunch right now, and I realize I hadn't vlogged all day, so. I'm more excited about lunch. Okay. So we're trying Habit Burger for the first time because Chris got a gift card from his brother for his birthday. So I got lots of extra veggies in mine. And Chris got a cheeseburger too, I'm pretty sure. So we'll try it out. I'll tell you guys what we think. It looks really good. So we just got home and I had some packages in the mail. One from the bomb. Look how cute this hat is. And they sent me a package I'm going to show you guys in a second here, but I wanted to show you. The adorable hat first. Okay, so here's the cute package I got from the bomb. Dear honeybee, pop the trunk. Don't miss out. There's something revolutionary in the trunk. Enjoy our new products. Can't wait to see your looks. Cool. Okay, let's see what we got in here. So two different primers. Oh, these are the primers that they had in their new palettes that transform your eyeshadow. So now they are selling them as singles. And then there also is a swing liner, which they've had for a while. The Body Builder, this is a mascara. I've not used this before. What are these? Auto Bomb. Oh my gosh, how cute these little palettes are. Day to Night, Girl Power? Powder? Oh, because it's powder. <laughs> I get it. These are like cheek blushes and then pick perf pick like picture perfect eyeshadows okay let's take a look at them so here are the little primers and they did give me two of each so i'll be able to put them in a giveaway how cute is this sticker so 90s i love it oh my goodness these look like little cars how cute is this oh my gosh i don't even want to open them because they're so cute i wonder if they're going to come like this regularly probably not but that is so stinking cute <laughs> they have one for each of the palettes so i popped the trunk and there's two palettes sitting in each of the cars so again i have one to give you guys and look how cute these are so they're a tin a tin palette and then hold on i'm gonna try to open this one-handed and then it has like a license plate look on the front. And this one is the cheek palette. Those look so pretty. I can't wait to try these out. Agave also sent me a new one of the Healing Vapor Irons. I've had one for years now when they first came out. And it's my favorite flat iron. I wore mine out, to be honest. I needed a new one. So I'm really excited that they sent another one. I'll be doing a video on my Instagram on how I use this. So if you guys are curious about it, I will link it down below, of course, just like everything. But I'll also be doing a video on Instagram very shortly. Also, It Cosmetics sent me a package, and I was super excited about this and so very thankful. Their new foundation came out and a few other new products, so they sent me a bunch of them. Unfortunately, I'm definitely going to need a self-tan or actually see the sun for these to work because apparently they think that I'm tanner than I am because they sent me all of the medium range of shades, and I'm definitely very fair. So I'm going to try to make one of these lighter medium shades work for me. This is the new Confidence in a Foundation. Foundation. It's oil free. It says it's for all skin types. It has a pump, which I always appreciate. It's in a really nice glass bottle. I believe these go for $32 and they're a velvet matte finish. That sounds like everything that I would love. So we will see if I can try to make one of these work. And then underneath here, we have some skincare goodies. Let me set that down real quick. So I have the new Confidence in a Gel Lotion. This is a Hydro Plumping Skin Transforming Weightless Moisturizer. I think it's a pump. It is. I am super excited about that one. And then there's a neck cream. 
Confidence in a Nut Cream. And then they also gave a Jade Roller to roll that onto the skin. A brush. And then this one is so pretty. I love the packaging. Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone for Aging Skin. It's a moisturizer, beautiful, heavy packaging. So thank you so much, It Cosmetics. It's Tuesday morning, going back to work today, and I wanted to show you my outfit. So I have some pretty big hoops on today. My lip is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills, and it's the Pure Hollywood Liquid Lip. And then I do have a little bit of a gloss, like a nude clear gloss on top, which is from, I think it's from Maybelline. It's a drugstore one curled my hair a little bit and then my jean jacket is from Target I do believe it's still available I love all of the distressing on it um see it's on the sleeves it's on the bottom too and in the back I love the brass hardware so I'll try to link this for you then my top is from Torrid it's just a really comfy floral tee and then I just have my black slacks on for work. And it's like probably one of the only occasions I'll get to wear a jacket again for a while because it's going to get super hot again here in Arizona. So I have totally forgot I was going to bring this on vacation to Seattle with me. And I completely forgot it and I was super bummed. So I want to at least get a day or two wear out of this before I have to tuck it away for the rest of the year. Um, until the win next winter. So I just wanted to show you that really quick and now I'm off to work. I wanted to show you guys my adorable lace sneakers too. I believe I got these at Target last year, but they probably have something super similar. But I love them. They're so freaking cute. I just wanted to let you guys know that um, if anyone notices, I am wearing my promise ring instead for a couple days. Unfortunately, when I went to go get my ring checked, um, I have to get it checked every six months. A couple of the diamonds were a little loose, which I was very sad about. So it had to be turned in for a couple days. And I literally almost cried <laughs> because I did not want to give my ring to them to have it be fixed. But instead, I'm wearing my promise ring. Um, until Friday, but I can't wait to get it back. So I'm heading out the door from work just now. Um, I'm about to drive home and today's Taco Tuesday. Um, Chris and Gavin usually have like guys night and do tacos together and just have some time alone together. And then like I'll go watch a show with Mama B or hang out with a girlfriend or something like that. Usually I just go to Mama B's <laughs> and watch a show. Um, we've been watching Vanderpump Rules, Bachelor, but that's over now, or Walking Dead. So I'm still catching up with all of those shows. Um, there was, I feel like I was going to tell you guys something else. I have not done any Ray Dunn hunting for like the last five days. And I really do only look for specific pieces. It probably doesn't seem that way because I go every couple days to just see if they have like certain things. The canisters are what I'm really after. I'm still looking for treats and sweets. Um, and yeah, I just was going to say that really quick. I am, my highlight is crazy today. Do you see this? Okay. I'm going to get this. So, oh my goodness. I just went to Home Goods, you guys, and those women are so crazy. Like my heart is beating so fast right now because they had birdhouses and they had the one that I wanted, but everyone went crazy and just grabbed them all up on me. Um, like literally grabbing all of them for one person. It's so irritating. Um, but I did get this birdhouse, but I might try to trade it for a different birdhouse because it's not really the one I was wanting, but it might be a hard one to find um, with the blue checks. And it says perch on the side there. So I got this one. I also found the mug hot mess, but first coffee and sweet pea. So those were really good finds today. Um, but yeah, they had a bunch of other birdhouses, but everyone went super crazy and picked them all up before I could grab them. So this is what I got today. So BoxyCharm sent me this palette early from Pure. It's their festival palette. Came in there, also came with an eyeshadow primer little packet. And these are 12 pressed pigment shadows. <gasps> Look how gorgeous they are. Oh my goodness, so those are obviously glitters. There's some mattes in here, some shimmers. They look absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna use this today for my eye look. 
and I'll show you how it turns out after. All right, guys, here is the finished look. I think it's so fun. I like it a lot. On my lips, I have two of the Viva Glam Nikki lipsticks in Nikki's Nude and the Pink Print. And I put Nikki's Nude down first, which is more of like a tangerine that has orange or like a coral tone to it, um, but it's still a nude. And then this one has way more of like a really pretty soft pink super nude look to it so i like i really like always combining them especially with this warm eye look so okay i've got to get my hair i'm gonna braid my hair this morning and off to work so i did some french braids this morning and it wasn't really working on the ends so i just left it loose i'm gonna cut my hair soon so i won't even be able to do this in the future but i really like the french braids and then i have this top on um it's kind of like very boho top. I think I've worn it on here before, but it's so comfortable. Since today is Friday, I get to be a little more casual for work. All right, guys, I am out of work. It's Friday. I am in such a good mood. Who loves the song from Kelsey Ballerini? Yeah, boy. That song, just like, I'm always like dancing in my car when that song comes on. I love it so much. So I'm here at the post office because they said they have a package for me. So at my P.O. box. Yes, I have these sun gloves on. It protects your hands from this super bright sun here because it's, yeah, very damaging. So I'm going to do that really quick. And then I get to go and pick up my engagement ring. It's finally all... Um, fixed and back so I can't wait to go pick that up and someone is trading me a different birdhouse for the one that I purchased this week that I didn't like so I'm going to go and do that trade with them and I'll show you guys when I get it all right guys so this is the birdhouse that I traded the other one for it's the tiki home birdhouse isn't it so cute I love it so I got that the girl's so sweet too that I just traded with she lives like right down the street from me so that's kind of funny. Then I got this really sweet package from a subscriber, Jamie. Thank you so much, Jamie. This made my day. It was so unexpected. I got this at the P.O. box. She wrote me a very sweet letter, and I really appreciate that, Jamie. They got married in Vegas the day after Chris and I got engaged. So we were there the same weekend. Too bad we didn't get to see each other. But she sent me some really beautiful pieces for the new house, and these will go so perfect. We might, especially these, might even incorporate them into our wedding table um, because I like the rustic feel of those and this is very like country looking too. So you can put a little picture on there that says happily ever after. Stands up like that and then these, you can put the picture right on the little wire part. It says love is patient. And this one says with my whole heart for my whole life. So I for sure want to use these on our table. And then she sent these chocolate lipsticks. Aren't those so cool? They look delicious too. And then she sent some stickers because she said she knows that Mama Bee especially is super creative and she said um, she thought this be cute um, for some crafting, some cute wedding stickers. Thank you so much, Jamie, I love them. So I picked up Gavin and we went and picked up the ring. It, oh, you can't see it. It's back, yay, I'm so happy. And then we went to Home Goods. Home Goods. Gavin went for the first time. I hope they're spot out some Raydon equipment. Yes, he did. So we found the Quench Carafe. We found Coffee Break, the mug. And right as we were checking out, I spotted something in the back that someone had returned. And it was the Just Beat It mixing bowl with the mixer on top that says mix. That was a really good find. And we got lucky because they hadn't put it out on the floor yet. So now we're going to go to Sonic as a treat for Gavin. And then we're going to go home. So, I don't know if I told you guys, but we got our engagement pictures back already. She was super quick about it, and I'm really excited that she was so fast with it. My baby's in the car. Hey. <laughs> We're going on date night. Yes, when you look at the pictures, you're going to notice how fine this woman is. <laughs> He's so silly. Um, but we're going to go see Dumbo. And I don't know if you guys, you obviously know that I love Disney, but I'm not so sure that you know how much I love Tim Burton. Like, almost the same level as Disney movies. So, to have both in the same movie, pretty dang excited. And then we're going to go to dinner too. But I might not have enough battery to vlog both of those occasions. <laughs> so that's why I'm telling you guys now. 
I didn't show you guys the pretty roses Chris got me yesterday. They're different. They're kind of like a two-tone. They're definitely very pretty. It's Saturday and I have some extra time to do my makeup today and so I decided to try a bit of a glowier look today. I actually, pretty sure I'm going to a friend's like party tonight. So I'm kind of doing my makeup early. Um, I've been, I just wanted to mention that I do wear sunscreen every day. I didn't mention that in my skincare routine. I think that was two vlogs ago. This is my go-to, the Lancome 50 Plus sunscreen, plus my Mary Kay CC cream has sunscreen that I layer on top. Um, this is like a really thin formula. It's water resistant. It doesn't make me super greasy. So I really like that. I'm gonna put these things like back in my drawer as I talk about them. And then I put this underneath with, what primer did I use today? Um, I honestly forget what primer I used with this, but this is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism cream. It is a bit dark for me. And so I use it very sparingly underneath my makeup it has a really pretty highlighted glow to it I as like. well. So I used that and then I um, use my Mary Kay CC cream. As you can see, I'm busting through this one. I think I've used up four. I think this is my fourth one now. Um, I'm in the shade very light. I'll, I'll link it down below if you're curious. I do still sell Mary Kay. It's just not my full-time job anymore. So I'm wearing that. And then I have this little teeny bit. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I depotted the rest of my hourglass foundation stick that I used up a while ago. And I forgot that I had a little bit left. So I used that for some more coverage. Um, so I layered that on top. And then I also used some liquid highlight drops from Mary Kay. These are the illuminating drops in the shade. Silver Sands. So I put that on first. And then for my contour, I'm almost done. Oops, that's not the right thing. I'm almost done with this Merle Norman contour. I've used up that the highlight a long time ago, highlighting powder, but look at this. I am literally scraping the sides. It lasts, it's been lasting forever. It's really nice though. It's the contour and highlight duo highlight sculpt. And then I put this blush on. All week I've been using this blush. It's absolutely gorgeous by Charlotte Tilbury. And it is in the shade First Love. It's a little dirty, sorry. And then the highlight on top is this one here from Dior. Sorry, this one's a little dirty too because I use it almost every day. Um, and it's in the Nude Air Illuminizer in 001. So I ended up using the Profusion Sienna's eyeshadow palette. I used this shade, this shade, and this shade. Was it this shade? Yeah, this shade here. And then I used this Touch and Soul Metalless and Glitter. But I only used the glitter side. And I've actually been really in love with these. I've been using all of these a lot. Um, but this one is in the shade, hmm, Adora, number two. Yes, I still have braids <laughs> on, um, and I have, like, a tank on, so it's not a bra. But I just wanted to show you my makeup. It's I definitely feel super glowy. Like, my whole, all of my skin looks glowy, in my opinion. And like I said, I did put it on my chest, too. I don't know if you can really see, but it does glow. My lip color, I don't have like the lipstick I'm gonna wear on yet. I just have this Sexy Mother Pucker gloss stick on in Nudist. I'm actually almost out of it. But I just put that on for now, but I'll put something else on later, like an actual lipstick later. So my eye looks like. So I just painted my toes because it's, it's warm out here in Arizona and I didn't have time to go and get a pedicure. And I used the shade from OPI and Pink Friday. I think it was a Nicki Minaj collaboration. And I'm wearing the sundress today. It's from Old Navy. I got it last year though. Um, I don't know, I wanted to wear something fun for the girls night. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I had to get editing this vlog because I probably won't have time tonight when I get back. So that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you again next week.